Hey you guys, my name is Imani. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you if my whole journey with speech language pathology has been worth it or not. I know you clicked this because you want all the tea, so continue to watch if you want me to give you the real, which I always do, because I just can't help it. Let's get into it. This video was actually inspired by a comment that I received on my very first YouTube video a few days ago. The comment read, can I ask for some advice? I'm 24 and I'm thinking of going into SLP, which means I probably would be around 30-ish when I was finished. I'm doing an associate's but thinking of switching to bachelor's. Do you think it's worth it? I feel like I would be so old by the time I'm done, lol. So this is such a very real concern. I basically started my graduate school career back in 2016 online through New York University. That's where I did around three years of work to get my master's degree in speech language pathology. Now typically this degree takes about two years to get, but you do need lots of prerequisites. Prerequisites are basically like entry courses that you take before you can actually start your real degree earning courses. Um, so for me, it took an extra year because I had all those courses to take, plus the actual degree. So you may be thinking, not only is that a lot of time, but it's also a lot of money, right? You're putting money, you're fueling your degree financially as well as you're in this transition, and it's not easy. Um, I have a video on this, but I took out loans, I had a full-time job, I had a part-time job, I did what I could so that I can kind of offset the amount of money that I knew I would have to pay back at the end of this. But financially, it was like a huge expense over those past five years. A lot of sacrificing, a lot of um, uncertainty, and that just comes with getting a master's degree in our beautiful country. Because I wasn't sure if this was something that I wanted to go into, and I tried teaching, and I tried other things to just make sure that this is the right path for me. Um, the only thing that I can say is that if you truly, truly want to do this, it is worth it. And that's totally personal. Like, if you have your why behind why you're doing this, then that is your driving force and it's always going to be worth it for you. For you, if you have a why, keep that why in the back of your head as you forge through because you're gonna need it. <laughs> you're really gonna need it because, you know, if you're starting your degree at 26, like you mentioned, it is gonna take a while. Um, the thing is though, I am 29 right now and I am about to go into my second year of practicing. I just got my certificate of clinical competence, so I'm really just now entering my career at 29 years old. I don't see any downside to the way that I went about things. Yes, I do have people around me, like friends and family who have been in their career for so much longer, and for that reason, they've been able to do other things, um, like buy houses and start families and kind of think about where they want to put their roots at, whereas in my situation right now, I'm just starting my career, so I have a lot more work to do. It's just more motivation. It's just another reason to keep going because I'm 29. I have so much life left. I have so much passion left for the field. And I'm not tired yet, so... <laughs> Age is nothing but a number. As long as you know that you can enter the field with some type of energy and gusto to learn and continue to grow, I think that you are in a perfect position to be almost 30 and be fresh. Do you know how young 30 is? Like We have a different perspective um, as new clinicians, as clinicians our age, millennial clinicians, and I think it's just valuable regardless. Don't ever let age be a factor in you going after your goals. And you should definitely look in my comments. There's so many people who have commented and told their stories of how they're doing this as a second career or they're 50 and 40 and 60 and maybe just going after this because it's something that they've always wanted to do. 
So um, if that inspires you, take that and run with it and know that, you know, you could do whatever you put your mind to. That's really the best advice that I could give. Guys, I am so totally still in a learning phase right now as I, you know, move through life and so much has changed, you guys, like things in my personal life have really changed and shifted and I'm all in all so incredibly grateful that I went to school, so incredibly grateful that I stuck it out and that I have a job that I enjoy. I hope that you share this video with someone who may be having a little bit of doubt about maybe starting this as a second career or comment down below and just let me know if it resonated with you and why. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.